Okay, right next to the link timeline and edit selection button, we have the link track and edit selection button. And what this does is every time we make an edit selection, it highlights the track as well. It selects the track. So if you look at the nameplate over here, every time I select uh, a region on that track, it highlights the nameplate. So that's what that's what this button does. And, and it enables us to do things like copy a selection across multiple tracks. So uh, here's the selection that I made. It's this area you can look at the timeline and see the selection now as I click on the other nameplates it just moves that it copies that selection to the next track to whichever track I click on now let's deselect or di uh, disable this button and see what happens if I click that and I'm clicking on these nameplates nothing's happening because they're not linked so you can see that nothing happens over here and if I deselect these tracks you'll see that the uh, the reverse is also true it doesn't matter what I click what uh, what edit selection I make it does not select the track so when would you use a feature like this well, uh, let's pretend we have a lot more tracks than we do here. Uh, let's pretend we have, I don't know, 60 tracks. And 20 of those are vocal tracks. So uh, if I wanted to go through and select all of my vocal tracks, I don't want to do that more than once. Uh, let's say I need to make an edit. Well, now I can edit over here, and I don't have to worry about my vocal tracks being uh, unselected. To be honest with you, I don't use this feature too much, and I think you'll probably find it more beneficial to leave this uh, enabled so that you can do things like uh, copy your selection across multiple tracks. So let's say I wanted to uh, copy this section and put it on Audio 3. All I do is click on Audio 3. It maintains my selection, and I just hit... Apple or excuse me yeah con command V and it'll paste it so that's pretty easy you can also do things like remove a selection from individual tracks so let's highlight all these tracks and then uh, by the way I'm just holding down the shift key to highlight multiple tracks and then if I hit the command key I can deselect specific tracks or select specific tracks and that is the link, track, and edit selection feature.